time travel, Christian ignorance. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Um, when I started this ministry, um, one thing I said, even as I was praying, I was like, Lord, I don't really want to be controversial. But come to think of it, Jesus' ministry and everything to do with him was actually controversial. And I thought to myself, for a person like me who was called, you know, to this platform to come and teach what the Lord has revealed to me, I didn't want to address matters that will make me stand out or that will make me not to fit in with others, like like not to have eyes on me like that, you know, but like it is what it is. Okay, I'm just going to share what I have to share. I want to speak about time travel, okay? And as I say this, we need to, the Bible says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. Let us first acknowledge the limitation of our understanding and the and the limitations of our knowledge if god does not bring things to us through dreams through visions through revelations we'll never understand there is so much truth in what in there's so much truth in a lot of conspiracies a lot of conspiracy theories they are could we could see the smoke and where they smoke there is fire there is a level of truth, although some things can be can be um, can be can be spoken or explained in a way that could mislead. Okay. Um, before I I sound like a weirdo, I just want to say that I'm just an I'm just an ordinary woman who just grew up in a Christian home. I'm just that's just me. It's just that in my journey. After I decided, I've always walked in dreams and visions, okay? But it was in 2020, late 2020, when everything started to take a, a, a different turn. Now, I know I seem like I'm beating around the bush, but I'm just trying to build my case here because I don't want to sound like a, a nuthead, okay? So, I have been avoiding making this video. But there was a, a video that I watched. It was the Sand Twins. The Sand Twins are the twins from South Africa. They have a show. They invite guests to come to their platform. And one of the men, what, they once invited this man. And he, he spoke about his experiences, his dreams and visions, how they'd come to pass. And I listened to him and I could relate with him in many different ways in more ways than one and just when he wanted to to speak about time travel he said i also wanted to share on the time travel that's when they said unfortunately we have run out of time and i felt so sad because for the first time in my life i heard someone address something that's something that has left me baffled something that has left me baffled and I wanted someone who's going to come, someone from the Christian faith, someone who believes in Jesus Christ, you know, who believes, who believes in God totally, someone totally sold out to God, you know, who's going to come and say what it is they've experienced and what it is they understand about time, about time travel. And right now, it may not yet be popular among the Christian groups. But when people begin to speak about it, as more people begin to rise up and speak, just remember, I was among the first who spoke about it. And to let you know that it's not even an easy thing to bring about, lest you be called a nut case. Okay? So when I heard that man say that, I was shocked. And I remember as I held on to my phone so, so... I clashed it so hard because I just wanted him to say something because there's something that I wanted to hear. I wanted to compare notes. There are things I needed cleared because I felt like, so it, it, I'm, I'm not the only one. 
I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. The church, the church refuses to, to come out of the walls it has built. The church refuses. The church refuses. Through my teachings, I try. Even I, I'm not even moving at a place I would love. Like with the teachings I've been teaching about the, uh, the gifts that um, we are, we'll be walking in in the end times. Um, like the example that I made about um, being moved from one place to another. Uh, the people, how quick they are to say that is of the devil. That is teleporting. That is astral projection. That is this, that is that. They speak in such a way that even if God has revealed things for you, it makes it hard for you to break in the, the knowledge and revelation to the Christian community because they are not ready to, to, to accept. They are not ready to open their minds to the possibility that perhaps not everything is actually written in the Bible. That's why we have the Holy Spirit in us that corrects us that certain things are sin, although they're not even written in the book of life. They're not written in the Bible, but it's the Holy Spirit that convicts us that this is a sin. And I feel the church is not ready. The church is not ready to open up its mind. The church is happy to, mm. to, to just... Uh, to just walk in limitations. And as it is, so much of the youth have fallen into the traps of the enemy because they're seeking the divine powers. And some are out there reading demonic powers. If you are listening to me and you are interested about the supernatural, do not go looking and reading the occultic books. Do not go looking at the occultic books, okay? Um, like books like, um, what is that book? Which they even made a movie after. How could I forget this book? How could I forget this book? What is this, that demonic, that demonic, um, that demonic movie? They even writing books after that movie. I will write it in the in the description when I post the video. If you want to know more about the supernatural, read books about people who were in the kingdom of darkness and have repented. Rather, learn from their experience and understand what it is they went through. Okay, look for things like that. Don't go looking for books on demons. Don't go looking for anything on the occult. Do not open doors. Do not get yourself in a place where you now need to be delivered. Do not do that. You are interested to know about the supernatural? Then go read the people who have walked into the supernatural. There's, there's many people. People like um, Erica Mokisa. I think she's Kenyan. People like Emmanuel Eni. He's Nigerian. Um, people like Maria Woodwork Etta, the late Maria Woodwork Etta. I think she's, I don't know. I think she, I just know she's from the West. Um, you can also read on books by Mary Kay. Is it, is it Baxter or is it Brown? Mary Kay Brown. I think, I think it's Mary Kay Baxter. You can also check out um, this Chinese lady. Um... What's her name? Chu Nam. Chu Nam Thomas. I can literally go on and on and on about people who have, who have gone through the transformation. Okay? From the kingdom of darkness up unto the kingdom of God and understand what they went through. If you are interested in finding out about more about the supernatural, if you feel that the Bible has left gaps and is not going deep to the things you want to know about, so that you understand that God is all powerful. Indeed, God is omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient. And this is appreciated more by people who have been in the opposite kingdom, in the rival kingdom, in the kingdom of darkness. Okay? There's only two. There's either light or darkness. There's either left or right, up or down. There's no, there's no middle. There's only two sides to a coin. Hallelujah. So... As much as I would love to go deep into that, um, like I said, the Christian community 
it's moving at a speed which is which is not fast enough for the coming generation and i feel they are the ones who's going to help to push even harder okay we're going to help to even push even harder so before i read the word um what what i would love to touch on with regards to this is that when okay let me let me address directly the the time travel what i saw was that i saw oh my god do i even even do i do i even want to share this and what is sad is that the attack and the persecutions with the from with the revelation we get from god comes from the the the, the believers themselves it comes from the believers themselves you know it it's as i feel it actually comes from the pride spirit it's like the children of Israel who said, why is God talking to Moses? Can't he speak to us as well? Even we hear from the Lord. Why can't he speak to us? But this is, this, this is what I want to mention. It's like seeing a family um, being in danger. And yet they were, be, they were taken from this place yet traveling in an unconventional way of a transportation. Example, um, a closet. Um, example, what other example? I never actually planned to go in this, but something that, ha that, 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 is, um, that is enclosed. Example, an elevator. Something that, has, that can be enclosed. Do you understand? Something that has a door, okay? A small room or a room. And being taken to another place where, where they are still able to do life and yet still be and yet still be on the same date. Like it's still on the like if like let's say it was on the 4th of August, still on the 4th of August, but somewhere else. Or perhaps I could be wrong with the dates, but for me it looked like it was still on the same era because the clothes were still relevant and the restaurants, the name of restaurants were still relevant and the people were still there. And there was still, uh, for me, my understanding is even in that kind of a realm or in another time or another space, I don't even know what the heck to call it. They still had a home and were able to carry on their lives from that realm. The world is full of mysteries and God himself is full of mysteries. I don't even know if I'm even going to post this. I don't even know if I'm even going to post this. And even if I post it, I don't know how long I will keep it. Yeah. But usually when I post things, the Lord, the Lord doesn't really, the Lord has never really okayed me taking down anything because personally as it is, I've got, I've got old videos that I would rather take down. <laughs> okay. I would like to read. <clears throat> this is the book of Acts. This is the books of Acts, chapter 8, verse. I'm going to read without glasses, y'all. Or not. Okay. Acts, chapter 8, verse. I want to read 39 and 40. It reads. Okay, this, a, a little background story. This is when the Bible first makes a mention of, of Paul, when he was still Saul, Saul of Tarshish. This is when he stood and watched Stephen, Stephen being stoned to death. Thereafter, the Christians began to scatter as Saul began to do a house-to-house -house search for the Christians. So the Christians began to scatter. But now the apostles had already made disciples. So there were disciples as well. So as they went out there um, scattered, that's when the, the gospel actually got shared even more. Because now the people were scattered. And where they were scattered, everywhere where they went, the different villages, cities, countries, and towns where they ran to, they began to preach the word. And now we get to hear about Philip and the Ethiopian. Okay. 
Now, this is when the Lord... This is when, um, let me see. This is when Philip, this is when Philip went into, into a journey. Let me, let me quickly double check the summary and we back to this. Yes, I had to double check. Sorry. This is Simon the Sorcerer. This was when Simon the Sorcerer had to be baptized. I don't want to go deep into the story. You can read for yourself the book of Acts. Okay. I want to read Acts chapter 8, verse 39 and 40. It reads, When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away, and the eunuch did not see him again, but went on his way rejoicing. So this man just got baptized. The man who baptized him disappeared right in front of him. Philip, however, appeared at Azotus and traveled about preaching the gospel in all the towns until he reached Caesarea. So now this is the man whom the Lord was using to pray over this, to pray over, over Philip. And after he prayed over him, that's when he, he disappeared. Okay. Was it Philip praying over Simon or was it Simon praying for, for Philip? Yeah. But anyway, he, he disappeared and then he found himself in another place and he sees himself walking. So it means he was walking when he was in the pool. Do you understand? He was walking when he was in the pool. So in the next, when the Lord transports him to the next place, he's transported and he sees he's walking. So meaning, had he left that place in a closet or in an enclosed area, where he was going to arrive at, it was going to be at an enclosed area. So was he walking? when he 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 was on this on this what on this part of the world on this area when he's transported to the next he when he gets transported to the next he's also transported walking okay yeah so that's it yeah that's that's i feel i've said what i need to share without uh bringing too much confusion you know, I feel as believers, let us grow in God and let us let us have our eyes opened and have our ears opened. We have so much we can learn from the Lord. Like I said, those who are interested in the supernatural, you want to read the Bible, be on your knees and rather read on testimonies of people. And no, the people that I've spoken about that didn't say anything about um, time travel in case you were wondering. But I just wanted to say that this time travel thing is going to be something you're going to start to hear more of. And it will be more clearer because now when you say time travel, I feel like now the movies now have also now just uh, took it out of proportion. But I, I, I'm just saying according to my own limited um, knowledge or what I've just, what the Lord just revealed to me. Okay. I've been, the Lord revealed this to me um, a while back. It's just something I've been sitting on. And I've been waiting to hear, like, perhaps someone might just say something about it, but no one's saying anything about it. So me, I'm just going to tell you my experiences, okay? Yeah, it is what it is. Um, the, Lord, the Lord desires all of us to walk in the supernatural, and many are about to walk in them anyway, ready or not, okay? Just remember, you heard it from me first. I was among the first people who addressed this. Yeah, what else did I want to add to this? There are things that we may feel are so much, you know, they're just, they're just hard to believe. It's just one of those things like, ah, it's just another uh, conspiracy theory. You know, there's, not, there's no truth in it. And we always forget that the enemy is not original. No, everything is still from God. Everything can be traced back. To the kingdom of God, everything can be traced back to God. And if it's something that the children of darkness are working in, you can be assured that even us, we have the ability to walk in it. The only difference is that we are not in control. It is the Lord that is in control. You don't get to decide like, okay, this is how, like, like things don't always move at the snap of our fingers. There are certain, there are certain giftings there are certain realms there are certain things that can only happen as the lord allows 
like it's not like we we wish them or we will them to happen no they happen at god's time they happen at god's time and this time travel thing before i close this um i had i have had um a reoccurrence of something that kept being blocked from my mind but now my mind was starting to remember my mind was starting to remember so i just wanted us to to um to just go back to prayer because it's only through prayer that the lord brings things to remembrance that the lord brings things to remembrance okay you know it's only through 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 prayer and even though the enemy may try to block and make us forget the lord comes through i want to share this testimony of this nigerian couple this nigerian man was in the uk i believe and the lord one day said nigeria your wife and one day he actually came back to nigeria and he remembered that the lord had said that his wife is in nigeria and he did get to meet a potential but he couldn't believe that the woman could be could be the one because of her age she was um i think yeah she's older than him which challenged his beliefs like he doesn't believe that he didn't believe that a wife should be older than the husband and um he was into short women and his wife is tall okay um and the wife is light in complexion and he was a guy that he was into those coffee colored uh beautiful ladies okay and he he yeah so he was faced with all these things like nah she can't be and he was looking for an intercessor like he was a serious intercessor he said he thought he was going to find a wife who prays like eight hours straight okay and then no he, then he had to learn that the the woman that he was was now sitting before him was a woman who um who was even on this channel on the big brother so he was like ah, ah, ah no ways there's no way that god can pay me with such a person until one day he had a dream in this dream he dreamt that he was on a train but the train was moving so fast that they had to jump out there was a group of them and then like as they were going at a certain station one person would jump out no a couple would jump out at a particular station a couple would jump out at a particular station a, a couple would jump out but they didn't exactly more like jump out they were more like pushed out because it was moving at a the train was moving at a very fast speed and it was scary so rather the people were thrust out of the train otherwise they would never get off the train and yes they hit the ground running okay how significant is that so he said when it was his turn he had no partner he was alone so they thrust him out and then he will he began to run and run but in the dream he tried there was a place i think he got into a hill where he was trying to jump over and he was blocked and he was blocked and then he remembered that no he's actually had this dream before but what is significant about this is that this man was able to realize that he'd had this dream i think he had this dream every five years or every seven years or something like that so this dream occurred every five or every seven years okay and then he said that he would always have something that blocked him the dream would always play out the same and he would always have something that blocks him and it just annoyed him but he kept on forgetting this dream hey as significant as it was until one day after he had met this lady he had this dream again he dreamt again he was on a train couples were being thrust out at different stations when it was his turn he was thrust out and then he started to run he started to run and then he got into that same hill you know where he he always hits a, a wall and his end of the dream but this time he realized he was not alone there was a woman by his side he said he was able to jump with that lady by his side because it was the two of them they were able to maneuver and make it through to the other side he had always wanted to be on the other side so bad so when he finally made it he was so happy and so relieved but as they were flying in the air he looked back with this grin on his face you know with this biggest smile to look at this person like do you see i did it we did it he looked back and to his shock it was the very woman he said it couldn't be 
That's how God confirmed that it was her. So it was through his dream that made me remember that, ha uh -uh. He said intervals of five, intervals of seven. Then I remembered, I also have a memory that has happened in, in intervals, you know, of, of specific years. It was then that I was able to realize that mine had to do with this travel, with this time travel nonsense. And I'm like, what am I going to do? So I've been sitting on this up until I finally heard someone speak on it because i remembered i remember thinking like how could i forget then i started to remember then i started to remember i started to write down notes i started to write down notes i started to remember and i was writing down pages and pages and pages and pages and pages i'm like someone better say something and to this day i'm still waiting i'm still waiting and if you have had a, an experience like this please let me know <laughs> let me know you know, the, this is something I'd love to explore outside of my channel. And I'll only bring it after I've had enough scriptures and I've spoken to enough people and we've shared our experiences and we've compared our notes. Then I'll be willing to share this experience and this thing that has happened for me. And I thought like, this is weird, but I, I, I'm old enough to know at this age that whatever happens to me, I'm not the only one. And I was happy to hear this man, although he was not given a chance to speak on the St. Trent's show. I really hope they bring him back and I hope he just addresses that matter only, basically. So if you have had such an experience, a time, um, uh, uh, a time, what? A time travel experience, please do let me know. Like, contact me on my email. I will not think you're crazy. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about and I'm talking to the people whom I'm talking to and they'll understand the people who, yeah, this is meant for who is meant to. You just contact me. I'll be happy to, to speak to you. Okay. So yeah. Thank you guys. God bless.